fix the hair. Not like it matters because we're not wearing makeup. <laughs> Hey beautifuls! So today I'm giving you guys my first ever declutter-ish video. I know I did a decluttering of all my makeup and stuff about six months ago, but I feel like there's still some stuff that uh, I could part with. I don't know how well I'm gonna do this time because I have a very hard time letting go of makeup. A few lip products actually as we speak I took back from my sister because I was like, eh, I want them back, I miss them. But it might be time to let go of them. And a lot of other stuff. I have a lot of things that I've used maybe once or vice versa and as you guys saw in my makeup haul, I just bought a whole shit ton of makeup from Sephora. So I think it's only fitting that we get rid of some stuff that I'm just not using anymore. So we'll see how good I can do with this. Note the dirty dishes in the back because this is life. Hi. Warning ahead of time, my makeup area is very dirty. It really needs a dusting. So anyone that's gonna be like, oh, it's so disgusting. Like, yeah, I know. I'm quite fucking aware of it. Thing is, no matter how much I dust, it's just gonna get even worse. So for right now, I'm leaving it, but uh, I do get it. I know my dresser needs a dusting. I'm sorry I'm not wearing makeup. This is kind of a very chill vibed video for me. I'm very behind. It has been crazy back to school and I just found out that I'm graduating officially with my associates as you guys know so I'm just a little frazzled right now I'm sorry videos are always fucking late I can't do anything right apparently if you guys want to see me declutter or at least try to declutter then just keep watching and let's just get started again I'm sorry about anything in the background anything that looks disgusting and dirty that's literally my life I clean and clean and clean and just always mess always mess in this lighting though Hi, bring it back to me. Bring it back. So I think it's only fitting that I start with the things that are right here. But then again, this is the stuff that I usually put out. I know, again, everything is dusty and dirty. Life of a makeup addict. I don't know what to fucking tell you. If you want a crisp, clean makeup collection, go watch Nicole Guerrero's or Jaclyn Hills. I'm sure they're a lot more clean than mine. Then again, I'm not like a top A-plus beauty guru. So there's also that. But the things that I usually have on my dresser is just what I'm currently using right now. So you guys know my Modern Renaissance from Anastasia and then I have my Lorac Pro palette and my little Pocket Pro which I honestly don't use this that much but the only color that I really use it for is rose right in there that beautiful color so I am gonna keep it for now but I think out of all the formulations of shadow even above Too Faced that Lorac and Anastasia are probably two of my favorite high-end ones so if you want a good high-end palette go to Lorac go to Anastasia because you will not regret it same goes for highlights I have a couple uh, little hard candy ones they don't make them the size I got them in a holiday set and then of course right now I'm really into my Mac mineralized skin finish and light scapade which is absolutely gorgeous as you guys know and I just I don't know I'm really into the lit from within look right now and then I just bought this so I'm not getting rid of this at all I'm trying to hide the fact that I'm not wearing bra can, am I doing well so over here as you guys can see besides like all the dust like hi I'm disgusting is my makeup technically this is a toolkit I got from Sears it holds like nuts and bolts and washers and all that kind of stuff Yes, I know what those are, nails, etc. And I bought this a while ago because I wanted something to keep my makeup in and I actually really like it. So ladies, I mean, invest in one of these because not only do they open up so easily, you can take them out. They do come out, and but if I'm moving or if I'm traveling with this or anything, I can easily like click them into place and they're not gonna go anywhere until I take it out again, which is awesome. So up here, this weird brush I never use, so that's going. And then I just have some backups of tweezers. These I've had for years, so I'm keeping those. And I think I'm gonna keep these two because they were wicked expensive. I just have a straight pair and a angled one for emergencies. If I see a hair and I don't have my tweezers, then the next drawer doesn't have anything in it. A couple of these don't because from the last time I cleaned out my drawers, I was trying to like compact everything. Up here, I just have two NYX Jumbo eye pens. Well, not, they're not both NYX. Samantha, they're not both NYX. This one is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm gonna keep that. I use it for Halloween tutorials, as you guys know. And then this one's from Pop Beauty. It's the Speed Stick in Matte Black. This one is still pretty creamy as well, so we're gonna keep that. So next up here, we have all of my, like, pencil liners, which is, like, ridiculous because I do not really use black or brown that often. Um, so this first one I have is Profusion that I love so much, but I haven't used it in years, so I think it's... 
time to go. Then I have this Maybelline one, which I really like the brown color on it, so I'm gonna keep him. Then this one's from last summer. This is the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus liner in Espresso. It is really, really pretty and it's very creamy, and so I'm gonna keep that. Then we have this one from NYC. I'm definitely not getting rid of because you cannot find NYC in stores anymore, which really fucking sucks. City Proof Waterproof Eyeliner in, I don't even know, dark brown, so it's really, really nice. It's very creamy. Keeping that because I have a little bit left. I'm actually gonna put it in here so I can use it. And then I have this one by Beauty People Makeup called a Gleam Waterproof Gel Liner Pencil in Gleam Black. My friend Mika got for me. It is very, very rough. I think it's dried out, so this one is gonna go. I'm sorry, Mika. <laughs> dried out and then I have this wet and wild one in Sima brown now which I was using for my brows for a while and it's a great liner and a great brow pencil so I'm gonna keep that one then I have an urban decay 24 7 velvet glide on eye pencil in lush which is another brown I don't know why I'm so into browns but by the swatches on my hand this one's still pretty creamy so we're gonna keep him from a London scandalized waterproof liner in black which is so and I decided I'm going to keep that and I think I just rubbed it all over myself that's cool so the next drawer underneath is all of my lip liners. I'm not a huge lip liner fan. I don't have a lot of them, but I really like ones that are in the nude realm, peachy nude, pinky nudes, that sort of thing. That's kind of my thing, as you guys know. I really love nudes. Honestly, it depends on the color and how I see it, but it could be very peachy, very pinky, that sort of thing. So the ones that I, first three that I have are from Maybelline. The first one is a clear liner, which I feel like it's hard to find a really good clear one, so I can tell that it's still really creamy, so I'm gonna keep him. The next Next is called Toast, which is a really, really pretty nudie color right there. So I'm going to keep him as well. And the last one is called Raisin, and it's also really pretty. The bad side about it, though, it has tiny little flecks of shimmer in it. Didn't know that when I bought it, so uh, he's going. And then I have this one from NYX. I really love NYX liners. This one is also a pinky nude. It's like natural. Literally, the name is... Ugh, hello. The name is called Natural. And then the last one I have is... Then my newest one is a Wet n Wild gel lip liner in Bear to Comet, which again is a pinky nude. Are we noticing a pattern here? So I'm definitely keeping him because I just bought him. Okay, so the next drawer just has two little items in here. First is my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown, which I loved this so much as you guys can see, but it is way too dark for my hair color now. And now that I actually know how to do my brows appropriately, I will link my brow tutorial from last year if you guys want to see that. It actually popped up on my time hop today and I was just like, oh my god, my brows are awful. I'll link it down below if you guys want to see that horrendous mess and let me know if you guys want to see an updated one. I love this stuff so much, six months. So this is past its expiration, but I don't use it anymore. So eh, I have to get rid of it. I don't want to, but I'm sad. And then I have the NYX Dark Circle Corrector Concealer. This is 18 months, so it's always really hard in there anyways, but I think I'm gonna keep it just in case. Yeah, it's still okay. So I'm gonna keep him, and I don't know if I'm gonna put him back in that drawer, so we're gonna find somewhere else for him. Okay, so the next four drawers down here, you can't even really see, but I'll just, Pull this one out they're a lot bigger so there's only four of these so I can put a lot more like compact stuff in that sort of thing bronzers in here first is my chocolate soleil which these go bad really quick so if you buy one of these you have to use it like constantly once it goes bad it will break out your face I'm not kidding keeping him then I have my Kelly Osborne Mac mineralized skin finish which is also really really pretty I love using this in the summer for like a light bronze or I mean the winter and then the last one here is my NYX matte bronzer in the color medium I was looking at this the other day because I went through, I don't know, does that look orangey to you guys? Maybe on camera it looks a lot more like brown tone, but I wasn't sure if I was going to part with this, but I think I'm going to keep him and give him another try. So no bronze are getting rid of today. And then over here in this drawer is all of my blushes. I'm so sad. I don't want to go through this. Ugh, I have to sit right here. First is this Pop Beauty one, which I love so, so much. I actually hit pan on it. You guys can see a little bit in there. And uh, yeah, so I'm not getting rid of that. The color icon on ombre blush in purple haze which is really pretty I just don't notice it on my skin at all when I use it so I don't know if I should keep this or not but it's very creamy you guys can see that that's one swatch right there it's really really nice so I guess I'll keep it and keep using him and see how I feel about him and then of course I have the one of the classics heather silk which looks like I barely use it but I use it quite often it is such a pigmented blush it's not even funny wet and wild blushes are some of the best blushes I've ever used they're so pigmented they blend out easily and they look amazing so highly recommend and they're like really cheap like two three dollars 
the drugstore. Then the next couple are both my Too Faced ones, which I mean, I hate the fact that like the writing comes off. Like look at that, like that's ridiculous. It's doing it on that one too. This one is in Justify My Love and Funfetti. I just got these within the last two years, so I'm not gonna get rid of them. Then we have the NYX Ombre Blush and Soft Flush. I really wanna get like the hot pink one of this. Maybe when I go up to Maine and go to Ulta, I don't know. And the reason why I like to shop in Maine, you guys probably are wondering why I always like shop big when I go up there, or I did the last time, is because their sales tax is a lot cheaper than down here. Down here in Connecticut, our sales tax is 6.35%. Up in Maine, it's about 5 or 5.5. So, I mean, it's not that big of a difference, but to me, in my wallet, it's a big difference. So, I'm happy about that. And especially when I went shopping in New Jersey. Sorry, side note. Sales tax was like $9. I didn't even know that. I was like, are you kidding me right now? So, if you're going on Jersey. I know my sister's going to uh, New Jersey with my cousin this summer. So, good luck to her. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, this is a really pretty blush. I just got it last year. So, I'm not going to get rid of it yet. Okay, so down here, this is the one that I'm dreading, are my two lip gloss drawers. So in here, I have like Too Faced, MAC, Rimmel, um, Victoria's Secret Paint. I think there's a NARS one in there, Milani, CoverGirl, e.l.f. So uh, let's just go into it. I have a couple MAC lip glasses. This is from the Ellie Golding collection. You guys know I'm obsessed with this one in Explosion. It's a plush glass. This is a lip gloss in the uh, Viva Glam Miley one. I'm not getting rid of that. So I think my higher end ones I'm not going to get rid of. So I'm sorry guys. I have this MAC Pro Longwear in an infinitely likable. A couple Too Faced glosses. This one's the Funfetti one which I just got and then the Sweet Peach. So I'm definitely keeping those. Then I have I think two. Yes. Milani lip glosses. I don't know the name of this one because the sticker came off but it's just this pink color I haven't really used it so I think I'm going to part with him I don't know I don't know it's so hard okay we'll think about it and then I'll come back to that and this one is in a nude touch which is just a really shimmery gloss it's very similar to the um, Ellie Golding plush glass so I think I might keep that just as like a backup next we have my Lorac alter ego lip gloss in goddess still smells good still works well I just used this like a few weeks ago so that's fine a couple of these Rimmel, Rimmel London Oh My Glosses, which I do like them a lot. I just don't reach for them. When was when did these expire? 24 months. I think they're still okay, so I will keep these. They're some of the best ones in my opinion. And then I have this e.l.f. gloss in the color Brian. And this one actually just, I don't want to get rid of them. This gloss actually means a lot to me because... My uncle's name was Brian, and there's a good possibility that my son's name will also be Brian, so like this just me this gloss means a lot to me that's why I hold on to it because the name of it literally is Brian I could just always buy another one so I think I'm gonna part with that one it kind of smells weird oh that pink one from Milani is called pink lady I just found this sticker and then I have one of these CoverGirl wet slicks amazement glosses which you guys this was my shit in high school I think I'm gonna end up keeping this I haven't used it really at all so I have another Mac or long wear in bound boundlessly beige which that does not look beige to me but whatever yeah you smell fine I just got this last summer so we're gonna keep him and then finally I have a NARS one in Shiap, S-C-H-I-A-P, I don't know, but it's a colored gloss. I gave my sister the lipstick, so I got to keep this. This smells pretty okay, so yeah, I'm gonna keep him. And the last ones are all of my Victoria's Secret Pink glosses that I love. I parted with quite a few of them. I had a lot more before, but I just honestly, I love them, but I don't wear them. So these have been sitting for quite a long time. I have Kisses, Heartbreaker, and VI Pink. I think I just recently got VI Pink, so I'm gonna keep him. And I'm also going to keep Kisses because I I think these two are the newest ones that I have so I will keep them you guys remember when they came out with these and I'm gonna get rid of heartbreaker because <sighs> just because I've had this one for years okay so back to this Milani one I have a couple glosses that are really really pink anyways so I think oh and this one kind of stinks so we're gonna part with pink lady and then the other drawer is more lip glosses these are more like squeezy tubes glittery ones holographic that sort of thing and also a lot of my lush stuff so let's dive in so this is a Jessie's girl glow sticks in Wicked which is so pretty it's a very holographic gloss but I cannot see myself putting this on my lips it's so pretty though that's why I keep it and I bought it and I wanted to put it on my lips but it's it really smells it smells really heavily of chemicals so I think I'm gonna get rid of it I don't want to though 
then I have my other Wet n Wild gloss, which the, again, this is on sale on their site. The last time I checked, it was only for a dollar. So if you guys want this holographic e gloss, prismatic gloss, then definitely go check out their site. A limited edition one in Boogie White Lights. So I just got this, so I'm keeping him. Then we have my first of the squeezy tubes. This is a Beauty Rush lip gloss from Victoria's Secret. It smells really good. I love using these in the summer because they're just easy to throw on, put in my purse, whatever. I have a couple in my purse right now, so I'm going to keep him because he's relatively new. A lot of these are, so I don't think I'm really going to get rid of any of these. And this one's Candy Baby. Then this one, oh, this one is in Raspberry Ice. I used the shit out of this one. It's so pretty. The blue glitters in there. It smells so good. I'm obsessed with it. And this one's one of my newer ones. I haven't really used it that much. It's called Sweet Sangria, so I'm gonna have to throw this in my bag. And then I have this Philosophy Squeezy Tube in My Heart to Yours. I think I might get rid of this one, actually. It kind of smells a little weird, but it was a really pretty gloss. One of the sheer flavored glosses, which I don't know what the hell the difference is, honestly, in Electric Strawberry. Oh, it smells so good. Definitely keeping him, because he's relatively new. And here I have one of these baby lips it changes the color of your lips depending on the temperature it's called my pink it's a really awesome baby lip so i am going to keep this just because it's like something easy to throw on and it's relatively new i have a lot of like lush lip tints and stuff i have sun kissed who this expired <laughs> this one probably did too and strawberry bombshell but i am going to keep these because i did buy them within like the last year or so and then this is the kiss lip gloss yes this is like the newest one that i have i have another one in here that expired march 2016 but it still works really well but uh i don't know if i should part with it so i think i might have to get rid of it uh, i don't want to i don't want to okay we're gonna do it we're gonna do it it's expired sam you have to get rid of it and then up here of course i just have my laura mercier brightening powder i'm not getting rid of that because that's like my life okay so right here i have more of my storage stuff i think i did a makeup collection recently i will link it down below i'm not sure if it's the setup though or if like i go more into detail but this little thing i got from target just easy for like my lipsticks mostly all my liquid lipsticks are in these drawers and my highlights and all that kind of stuff so let's jump in so up here we've got all my liquid lipsticks i don't think there's honestly any i'm gonna get rid of right now they're all pretty new the only ones i think i'm gonna get rid of which i'm really upset about it no actually that one's relatively new i don't like these sephora cream lip stains i think they're great the formula is great the packaging is fucking awful you guys can see right there like i cannot completely close this like it literally does that in the tube first we have all of my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks that I love so, so much. We have Bow and Arrow, Lolita, and Backstage Bambi. I recently took this one back from my sister because I was like, this is such a pretty color. Why did I give it to her? And then, of course, Lolita is a classic. I have to keep that. And then Bow and Arrow I just recently got. So we're keeping. Then I also have this little one in Bachelorette. I think I'm going to keep that one too. Then I just have a couple of Too Faced ones. This is the limited edition Mel Matte in Candy Cane, which I love, so I'm keeping him. And then I have Child Star. I did get rid of Queen Bee because that one really stunk and I was like yeah no I'm not keeping this the next we have all of my uh Jeffree Star ones that are right here these two are limited edition from last summer 714 watermelon soda this is limited edition from holiday deceased so these are all still pretty new so I'm keeping them I think I'm pretty much keeping all of my Jeffree Stars because I mean yeah then I just have a couple Milani ones in here which I do love these like I think they're great the formula is great they smell great they look really odd on my lips after a while like they sink into all the cracks of my lips make me feel like I gotta go get lip fillers or something I do like these they're not my favorite though so I think I'm gonna keep adorable and give it another chance but I know for a fact that I don't really like this color on me I feel like it's just too pinky this kind of color I don't really like on myself fun fact i'm sorry this is like supposed to be a decluttering video you're not supposed to talk about everything well that's what i do and then this is a more metallics lip cream which they sell these now in the square packaging so don't be fooled by the packaging still smells pretty good i did like this on my lips it's just i'm not a big fan of metallics so yeah that's the only one but i'm gonna keep him and then i have this little melted matte i just got so i'm keeping him in chocolate honey it's such a pretty color and back here we have two of these poshmark ps super matte liquid lipsticks i I have used them both. This one's in Kim and this one's in Blush. Kim is very light on me, which really shocked me because I didn't think it would be. Okay. It just smells like chemicals. It doesn't smell like anything. And then this one. So I didn't really like blush color on me, so I think I'm going to get rid of him. But I did really like Kim, so I'm going to keep that one. Also, just side note. I know I'm annoying. I'm sorry. And uh, the next time I go to Premark, I'm going to buy a whole shit ton of their makeup. I want to do a video on it. I want to try it out, that kind of thing. So if there's anything in particular,
concealer you guys really want me to get please let me know down below for the record <laughs> okay so next we have the sephora cream lip stain love these great formula they last the packaging really sucks just a warning we just have the rest of my jeffree star we have prom night flamethrower doll parts i don't like doll parts on me because of this sort of color as you guys can see it is not my favorite it looks awful on me i'm very sad that i bought this because i hate the color so i'm gonna get rid of him or her sorry and then of course androgyny which i'm not getting rid of for shit so uh sue me by the way some of my liquid lipsticks may be missing because i did pack some some are over here some are in my purse just for the record and then i have all of these wet and wild ones so i have this color how fleek is your love which i'm keeping take it like a vamp which i really love this color so i'm keeping that for the fall and then this one is called don't be a plum plum eh, i don't really use this wear this one that often but i'm still gonna keep it and give it another try and then these two are relatively new this one is nudie patootie i'm not sure how i feel about this like gray brown color i wore it a couple times and i was like <laughs> not sure but we will try them again and then rebel rose is like one of my favorites hell yes this is an amazing amazing liquid lipstick and then finally we have another jordana this one's in buttercream frosting which is really pretty as well jordana's formula is also really good and then this next drawer is more of like just liquid lipsticks that are not matte or demi matte or whatever so i just transfer these into here these are just like my stick gloss things my crayon things i have a kardashian beauty and joystick shocking pink still good so i'm keeping him this l'oreal lip gloss so pigmented it's not even funny it's a glossy lip balm but i don't really use it that often so i'm gonna part with him and then i have a couple of these pop beauty pouty pop lip crayons which are also very glossy so i think i'm gonna just keep these because this color is very similar to the l'oreal one this one's in blush berry and then we only have three of my liquid suede cream lipsticks because i threw away sandstorm it stunk so bad you guys it was so bad so the ones that i have left are soft spoken which is also really good it's a, like it's a dupe for lolita or androgyny so if you want that then this is the one for you i have pink lust or passion rose whatever this is called so pretty such a pretty pink and then i just recently got this one it's called alien because i'm an alien and i had to get it just this black fucking liquid lipstick i'm obsessed with so i'm keeping those maybelline color jolt keeping um maybelline color elixir i don't really wear this don't know why i have it so that's going i have have a l'oreal infallible pro matte gloss in statement nude noticing my pattern of nudes here keeping him a couple of the infallible lip paints from l'oreal i really love spicy blush i don't like child not child star nude star so i'm gonna get rid of him because he's just not he doesn't look good on me i just don't like it i have a metallic liquid lipstick from wet n wild this one's in peony express so i'm keeping him because he's just a pinky metallic liquid lipstick it's really pretty these two vivid matte liquids i'm gonna keep both of them this one is in sinful stone and then gray envy is the nude color and then for uh, all of my victoria's secret velvet mats we're not getting rid of any of those <laughs> as of right now i still want to like take more time and dwindle them down but as of right now and then next we have my highlight drawer in here i have a couple wet and wilds that i'm keeping this one is a limited edition gold bar this is in precious petals you can buy right now love these they're really good highlighters i have a color pop in monster which is still really good so i'm gonna keep him then there is this makeup revolution i just got this last summer baked highlighter power powder in peach lights really really pretty has like a nice pink iridescent to it hard candy blush which i really liked for a pink highlight kind of see right there it's like lighter into the pink i usually use the lighter side for my highlight i have this laura geller all over baked body frosting all over glow and body glow in 24k it's really pretty i just honestly don't reach for it as much so i think i'm gonna part with this one i know shocking shocking i just don't use it and then i have another becca highlight don't know where i put it don't know where i put it it's in moonstone but i have champagne pop which obviously we're keeping and then this one is pearl which is like the whitest highlight you could possibly buy honestly one of the whitest i should say so next we're going to start from the bottom up i don't know why i got this drawer pink because i was at pre-mark and i was excited but all these drawers for the most part are from pre-mark this one is from tj maxx which this was seven i think these two are only five for just like a two drawer insert which is awesome again they come right out bottom one right here i don't think i'm getting rid of any of these this is the mac simpsons blush love this one the kat von d and then i have benefit hervana hervana in there thanks Roya. that blush and my friend Roya got that for me so i was really happy about that so thank you so the next drawer is just like random as how like i have my 
my next physician's formula butter bronzer in here because it doesn't fit anywhere else my wet and wild compact pressed powder for my all over of my face and it i had hit pan on that clearly and then i have the hard candy prismatic highlighter because it wouldn't fit anywhere else but i think now it's going to be able to fit in my highlight drawer so i'm going to put them in there and then these two drawers as you guys can see are all of my like stick lipsticks i have more over here but these are like the basic like my drugstore ones or ones that just don't fit anywhere else this is where they go up here i just have these three wet and wild ones and i don't really reach for these anymore honestly i want to keep them because i do want to use them again the only one i don't think i'm going to keep is cherry bomb i don't know i don't know but these are some awesome awesome drugstore lipsticks i will say for the record so for now they're going to stay i have a uh blue yes blue hard candy <laughs> lipstick in um night queen it's really really good and it smells like blueberries tiny little mark jacobs one that i honestly don't even use this maybe i used it once i think i'm gonna keep him just for now i have two milanis i love milanis i just got this one this one is in nude matte i have my rimmel london 114 which is like an oldie but a goodie for me so we're keeping him and then of course jennifer's nude we're keeping because these are some of my favorite nudes ever and then up here is all of the remainder of my Maybelline lipsticks I got rid of quite a few because I just wasn't wearing the colors and some of them kind of went bad and looked really weird so I just decided I'm just gonna part with them so I have on fire red I'm keeping him electric pink which is a bright ass matte pink faint for fuchsia which is a fuchsia color but I don't wear this one at all so I think I'm gonna part with him we have touch of spice which you guys know is like oh, life to me such a pretty pretty color pretty fall color and we have daringly nude one of my favorites these are great especially the mattes if you love the look of the matte but you absolutely hate the feeling of them these are great lipsticks and then i have two nudes left over here warm me up which is my all-time favorite so it's like you took away all my nudes today this one i would just keep with me nude lust which is a really pretty nude color look at that i got rid of one oh, it's so off now man finally up here is just my two ones that i use every day they're the most dirty i usually keep my primers my concealers all that kind of stuff in this one and then this is like all my eye stuff a little dig through him i have some new primers so i'm not really going to touch those but i am going to get rid of this neutrogena cool sport sunscreen i usually would use this on my face when i would go on my walks and stuff in the summer but it is expired so we're getting rid of him my concealers i'm keeping because they're both relatively good my liquid lipstick remover from elf so he's staying so i just put this one in there so i'm not going to get rid of that it's my nyc i have a couple mascaras i'm currently using a covergirl and a little mini mac one this curvy master precise curvy liquid liner I don't really reach for him at all because i have like my other liners but i will keep him I have my eyebrow stuff that i use all the time so that's staying my other liquid liners that I use for my winged liner haven't done a wing in a long time so I probably should revive that soon but those are staying and this is a Laura Geller ink credible waterproof gel liner in black carrot and it just has like shimmers in it is it really really pretty I think I'm actually gonna get rid of her though because I don't really want shimmer in my eyeliner shadow insurance primer keeping him these I both got from influencer for free Marc Jacobs highliners these are awesome so I'm keeping them and I have a little mini version of the lacquer version in like black or whatever it's called i don't even know what it's called so these are all staying then i just bought this makeup remover pen love saves my life with my liner every time if you guys haven't seen that video i will link it down below this is the eyebrow lifter and filler so it has like a little concealer on one side and then this is way too dark for me so i'm gonna get rid of him but this is really great if you're a beginner at brows like i was because it has like everything in it but it is kind of thick and hard to work with just throwing it out there and then of course my nude liner that i use every day so that is staying okay you guys can't really see this part but i have a whole shit ton of foundation and other lipsticks over here so I'm just gonna go through this quickly <sighs> I'm gonna go through it quickly I'm nervous honestly I'm really really nervous about this part so you guys know I just got my Clinique one this one's out because I'm gonna use it oh yeah I have a NYX lingerie in bedtime flirt don't like the formula this color is amazing though so I just have a couple of Jeffree stars in here I don't think I'm gonna really get rid of much of these this one oh bon bon this one I'm getting rid of though because I never never wear it. it's from Too Faced I got it from Nordstrom Rack I believe it's a beautiful orange color orange coral but I just don't wear it so bye I have naked dolly and unicorn tears we're keeping those 
Yellows. I have Candy Yum Yum I just got for Christmas. My Halsey lipstick. You gotta be thinking I'm drunk if I'm getting rid of this. That's not happening. Sorry. Not happening. I have the Ellie Golding Without Your Love. Really pretty. Angel, which you can't go wrong with Angel. It's so pretty. I have Viva Glam Miley. And then I have Mocha. So those are all staying. Then over here I have three BB creams. The first is the Dream Pure BB from Maybelline. And I honestly don't reach for this. If I'm gonna wear a BB cream now, I usually go towards the clean matte or the tart so mm, but this one has acne stuff in it uh, it's so hard to make a decision i don't know what to do so i think i'm gonna get rid of him because i just i haven't reached for him in a while but i do use these so i'm keeping them my tart this is a bb tinted primer it's not actually the bb cream but I call it the baby cream, so I'm sorry. I did a whole video on that and I fucked it up. <laughs> and then for foundations, of course, we have my Pro Glow. They just came out with a concealer, you guys. So yeah, I'm keeping this. Physicians Formula, I love this for every day. I'm keeping him. Urban Decay, of course, he's staying. Kat Von D, Makeup Forever is like life saving and changing. I have my Wet n Wild one right here that I love. And then I have this Mabel, this Maybelline, this Rimmel London one, which I do like, but I don't reach for it. So I think I'm gonna get rid of him. And then I have these Hard Candy Glow glamouflage pigment drops that I can use if my foundation's too dark because this one is in fair two I think yes so you just shake it up and open it up and squeeze them out and it's very messy as you guys can see but it helps me when I uh up on my foundation so now there's oh now there's a section for my Clinique one how cute and then I have some other liquid lipsticks and stuff over here I have a baby loops color bomb I just bought so I'm keeping him this white liner I don't really use this but I know I'm gonna need it for Halloween tutorials, so it just sits here. And then I have the Melted Metallic Liquid Lipstick from Too Faced I just bought, and then all these new ones I just got, and then this is relatively new. This is a Color Jolt and Orange Outburst because they my Walmart was discontinuing these, so I bought another color, but not sure if I'm gonna keep him, so we're gonna test him out. This is pretty much all the damage right here of what I am getting rid of. So that's pretty much all the damage that I've done decluttering my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out in some way. And I'm actually really happy now because a lot of this stuff has literally just been sitting in there I haven't been reaching for it so now I can either throw it away clean it up give it to my sister or you know throw it out whatever but I'm really proud of myself because I feel like I have to do this every few months or like my makeup just gets so out of control again I don't have a makeup collection like Nicole Guerrero or Jaclyn Hill or any one of those beauty gurus because I'm an everyday person but I'm obsessed with makeup and sometimes it just gets a little too much especially when David and I move into our own place together I don't want to be overloaded with so much makeup personally because I don't know how much room we're gonna have but yeah so uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down below like this video if you want to see more in the future Maybe I'll do one every few months I don't know but this was fun and I'm kind of happy because now I have to stick to it If I keep anything you guys are gonna yell at me. I love you guys so much Hope you have an awesome day subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and like this video if you enjoyed I'm sorry again. I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not wearing bra. It's very impromptu video, but I did want to do this for you because I just feel like it helps me. And I imagine a lot of you guys have been wondering what kind of makeup that I have. Quite a while since I did a collection, I feel like. So I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. This is probably crooked the whole fucking time. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. It was crooked. <laughs> yeah.